of gray. So right now we will limit it to 10 shades of gray because there are 101 shades of gray. But if we do that, we will be talking about grays for the rest of the year. So today we will limit it for the 10 shades of gray and this will be a series regarding our Christian liberty. Okay, so praise the Lord. So I would like to ask all of you just to stand up so we can read the Word of God. Very short way out in scripture, but from this there will be so many other scriptures that will be coming uh, with our teaching. Sabay sabay po tayo. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 23 to 24. Please say it with feelings. Kukunti na lang yung salita. So siguro pwede nyo nang sabihin with feelings. Amen? So 1 Corinthians 10, 23, 24. Let's all read. I have the right to do anything. You say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. No one should seek their own good, but the good of others. Father God in heaven, Lord, we thank you for the reading of your simple word today. May it be short, Lord, we know that this will give us, Lord, the benefit of having a long and prosperous life in the earth. Because we know, Lord God, that our lives is not end here. Lord, we have learned so much in the last few months, Lord God, that we are your chosen people, Lord. A generation that will see you coming, Lord God. So therefore today, Lord God, whatever we hear, whatever, Lord, that opens our hearts to your spirit, we pray, Lord, that you will just instill it in our hearts. And we pray that you will seal it, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that the enemy shall not rob, steal, and destroy these words in our hearts right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we even stretch our prayers before our loved ones right now. Maybe in the Philippines or wherever they are in this part of the world. Lord, we pray that your protection to be upon them, especially right now in the Philippines, that is uh, uh, experiencing storms and, and, and volcano eruptions, Lord God, in all these things. Lord, Lord, we pray that you will protect not only our loved ones, but even, Lord, our beloved country, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Because we know, Lord God, as we listen to your word, the enemy is double typing, Lord. You do all things, Lord, for us, not even to believe or even to doubt your word. So we rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we pray we'll not just be here. So your words, but the words of your words. Father, once again, today we just co commit all these things to you. And we just want to give you back all the praises, the glory and honor that you deserve. For this we pray in Jesus' name. And everybody say Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today, if you talk about, or if I ask you right now, or if you can ask the person on your left, on your right, tanong mo sa kanya, ano ang favorite color mo? In English, what is your favorite color? Hindi po, who is your favorite color, ha? Tama na po. I'm sure some of you, Okay, some of you will simply just say, you know, a distinct color, like blue, red, black, you know, or some will go pink, yellow, green, and so on. So, there will be only less that will probably say, I like gray. Why? Because we feel that gray is not a color. It is something in between. It's something that shows that you are not sure whether you like or you don't like, or you have a taste or don't have a taste. Although me personally, I like gray. No? As an architect itself, I know that gray has a long range. It has a cool range and it has a warm range. So it can go down to as long as, low as you know, whitish, uh, metallic, you know, silverish, all the way to brownish. Those are shades of grays. And accordingly, there are hundreds of shades of grays. So therefore, for us just to simply to pick and say, I like gray, parang marami pang tatanong eh. Hindi ka tulad pag sinabi pink. Ano klase pink? Ay, eh, siguro pang babae yan. Yun agad eh. Ikaw, ano gusto mo? Red. Siguro masyado pang, you know, in love. Or ikaw, blue. Bakit blue? Eh, kasi masyado kang high. <laughs> but today, as Christians, we know that there is such thing as shades of grace in our life. And these shades of grace are the one that distinguish or the one that will help us or the one that also... Um, let's just say, put us in a position where sometimes our Christianity is being questioned. The black and white is not a problem because it's either black or white. But the gray is the one that sometimes gives us 
the challenge. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 23 to 24, it says there, I have, Paul says, I have the right to do anything. Kulo. Tama ba yun? Kulo. I have the right to do anything. You say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. No one should seek their own good, but the good of others. Ulitin ko po. No one, not just some, not just the pastor, not just the one who are in the church, not just the one who are ministering. No one should seek their own good, but the good of others. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, I'm seeking your good. <laughs> Ikaw na good talaga. Okay. Ang hirap po niya, no? And today you will understand this. Oh my God, all the while, I'm seeking my good. And kung anong matira, good na rin sa kanya. There are several teachings in the Bible that are clearly articulated with little or no dispute. There are things in the Bible that when you read, it is what it is. You cannot even say no or yes. This is because it is what it is. In terms of sin, we are so familiar with the word anger and greed and gluttony and slug and envy and pride and lust. These are the seven deadly sins as they call it. You cannot argue with this. You cannot say lust is not a sin. But the Bible says it is. Hello? You know when the Bible or God says something, He's not asking for your opinion. Hello? When God said that I created the heavens and the earth, do not reverse it. No, Lord, maybe you created the earth and the heaven. No, He created the way it is. Nung ginawa niya po yung umaga, when He made the morning, okay, the morning where the sun rises, don't make it the same. That's why we are having problems, no, biologically, because iba sa atin ang tatrabaho sa gabi, na kung saan dapat tayo tulog. Hello? I'm not saying that, ay, ngayon, hindi na ako papasok, sabi ng pastor namin, walang may ito. I'm not saying that. But because we are trying to go against even what God has designed, we are what? We are now having problems with our lives. Maganda siguro kung lahat ng tao tulog sa gabi, at least tahimik ang mundo kahit sa gabi. Hello? Ay, hindi nga eh, sa gabi maingay din eh. Maingay na sa umaga, maingay pa sa gabi. Kaya yung mga na umuwi sa umaga, mga night shift, galit kayo dun sa mga tao, ang iingay nyo! Eh, kung ako yun, sasabihin, eh, ba't gabi ka na natulog at nagtatrabaho? Di ba tulog ka sa gabi? Kawa niyo ba ibig sabihin? But what I'm trying to say, whatever God designed, it is not subject for our opinion. When He put your nose here in front, don't argue, I want to put it at the back. Hello? <laughs> When God said, love your wife, wife, submit to your husband, hindi po i-reverse ni Lord yan. He is not asking for your opinion. It's just saying, follow it. But the problem is, we, have, we are so opinionated. That's why we create our own church. We create our own group. As if our group is better than God. There are things in the scripture that are clearly articulated with little or no dispute at all, like the sins that are there. We do not have to extensively investigate the Bible in order for us to figure out which position we are in such matters. Pag sinabi yung bawal, bawal. Amen? Wala itong kausap. Pag bawal po, bawal. However, there are issues in the Bible that's not Absolute, that are not absolute or take an absolute stand on. And we call these areas gray areas. Ang tawag po natin doon ay gray areas. Pero yung mga clear na clear, ang tawag po natin doon, black and white. Tama? Black and white. So, what is a gray area? Pisan po natin. Are you there with me? Yeah. What is a gray area in terms of the scripture? Well, for us who have been in the Bible school, a gray area are issues that scripture 
does not take a dogmatic stance. You know what a dogmatic stance is? Ibig sabihin, hindi siya solid. Okay? The Bible is not necessarily mentioning something that this is what you should do. When God says, thou shall not kill, brother and sister, whether enemy or foe or friends, thou shall not kill. Whether it, the, 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 the thing is already half dead, thou shall not kill. He's not asking for your opinion. Do you understand my point? Those are what we call dogmatic law or the dogmatic command of God. Thou shall not steal. Whether you take it as a small amount or a big amount, stealing is stealing. No, wala nang kausap. A paper trip lang eh. Now, can you imagine this? You see yourself in hell with Napoles, for example, with all due respect. And then, Napoles ask you, with all due respect, I'm not judging you. Okay? For example lang to. Nagkita kayo sa sa imperno. <laughs> Parang Daniel, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, Ma'am Napoles, how are you? Why are you here? You know, I stole billions. Really? Wow, billions. Ikaw, what ka na dito? I stole a paper clip. <laughs> <laughs> you are in the same place. Now, brothers and sisters, why? Because the word of God is dogmatic about this word. Thou shall not steal. Do you understand me? Wala pong lusot o wala pong excuse anyone who will violate the word of God that is already black and white. Hello? So brothers and sisters, gray areas are issues in the scripture does not take dogmatic stance on, or at least, the very least, issues that scripture does not discuss in them. So napahapyawag na. So these are the things in the scripture that's a little bit, hmm, hmm. po ba yun? Instead, the Bible, this gives Christians the liberty to make glorifying decision based on their conviction. And yeah, we will go down to the detail. So gray areas are areas that are not necessarily sinful or not discussed, but God has left it on us to make the, the decision to glorify Him based on our conviction. Yung po ang pag-uusapan natin the next few months. No? Yung mga issues na yun. So, Pastor, I have a meeting with you today. Okay? Because I gave this preaching to one of our pastors. Bigla nagkasakit. Hmm? Kaya ako yung word of God. Nag Nagdadala ng sakit eh. Ikaw ang preacher. <coughs> but, but, brothers and sisters, what I'm trying to say here is that instead there are certain issues in the scripture that we should understand that God has given us the best wisdom and knowledge and counsel to be able to agree or disagree on what to do. Example of those, for example, drinking. Now, I didn't say drunk. The Word of God says, do not be drunk. And what about drinking? You know, social, white, red, blue, white. The blue one, but I won't go. Okay? Get, don't get me wrong. The Word of God says, do not be drunk. So, kung iinom ka at nalasing ka, kasalanan. Eh, paano kung uminom ako, hindi ako nalasing? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Wala ka sa kotya. We will talk about that. Do you understand my point? Amen. So, pagka tayo, Christian, we have to have a stand in our life. A stand that is glorifying to, to the Lord, but also edifying to one another. Dating, kissing, gambling, smoking, clothing. Music, movies, television. Okay, birth control, dancing, spending your money, homeschooling, working moms. Kahit sa ibang church, nag-aawin sila mga nanay, hindi na pag nagtatrabaho kasi it is the man who should work. And nowadays, selfie! Wow! Hello? 
Di ba nag-aahoy sa FB? Sa, sa, ano, sa, sa FB? Naku, ngayon yan, narsisi niya. Naku, ganito yan. Iba na wala kang pahalam. Ano, ito. Basta, may karapatan ako. Hello? You understand? Cyber friendship. Christian businesses. Brothers and sisters, let's admit the fact. These are true. Amen? Amen. Kayo rin po, nagbuguluhan minsan eh. Magsisihalbi ba ako? Eh, ang pokey-pokey ko yung araw na ito. Magpapupit ako. Talaga kailangan makita nila. Pero, bago yung damit ko. Hindi naman siya mamahal. Pero bagay na bagay. Tignan ka daw ko parang otso. Or ba talaga? Magsisihalbi kayo ako yan. Minabasa ako. Sabi, para daw yung malamit. Please, don't, don't get me wrong. There are things in our life that God has left on our hearts, not necessarily the scripture. Okay? I will not justify anything. But what I want you to understand today, before we go to the issues, so please come here. Are you going to be here the next two months? Amen. May magbabakasyon ba sa inyo? Amen. Amen? Pero paano kayo nandito kung magbabakasyon kayo? Hello? Brothers and sisters, we will talk about the issues next week. We started. But today we will talk about the general idea. Let's start with the wedding invitation because we know that we are the chosen generation. At the end of the day, whatever we do right now, we have to end up on what we call the ultimate, the ultimate event. And that ultimate event is the wedding in the in heaven. In Revelation chapter 19, verses 6 and 9 to 6 to 9. He says there, Hallelujah! For the Lord God Almighty reign. Let us rejoice and be glad and give Him glory. This is the wedding invitation. You know, pag ako nagpukasal ulit, no? after so, sa 50 years natin or something, no? I will have an invitation. I will put that, Hallelujah! Or yung sa iba yata, Hallelujah! Kasi ito yung pagmahaba na yung pag-aasawa, nagiging hell na, and then na Hallelujah. Hello? Hallelujah for the Lord! Almighty race, let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory. For the wedding of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. The bride is the church. Fine linen, look at this, I underline this. Fine linen, bright and clean. Okay, was given her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous act of God's people. Then the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. And he added, These are the true words of God. Amen. Now look at this, verse 8. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous act. Brothers and sisters, once we are there in heaven, there is such what we call clothed in the righteous act of God. So it's not enough that you accept Jesus today. It's not enough that you say, I, I believe. Because in heaven, brothers and sisters, it's not me. It is the word of God. That is what we call righteous act of God's holy people. Tayo mga kang nag-iisip na, ay, born again ako, diretso na ako sa langit. Think again. It's easy to profess, but not easy to believe in your heart. Because belief does not just put it into your mind, but it also what? Put it into your actions. Okay? Are you there? So sa langit po, yung mga suot-suot natin, hindi gray, fine linen, and, and bright, and, and the clean, okay? Sige po, upang sa tembunan natin muna. Welcome. Okay. So when we are in heaven, brothers and sisters, there is such a thing as called righteous act of God's people. Now, question right now, what is this righteous act of God's people? What are these righteous acts that once in heaven, God Himself, Jesus, will see His pride shimmering with all these righteous acts? Definitely, it is not the act of what he already said. Hindi tayo pupunta ron na lahat tayo mamamatay, ta mamamatay tao. Hello? Hindi po yun ang gusto niya sabihin. The righteous act that we are talking here is this. The righteous act of God's people, our actions and decisions done 
in obedience to Christ anchor in His saving grace of salvation. We talked about this last week. Everything is nullified whether it is the best deed or the most noble thing that you have done if you are not in Christ. Hello? Example, bago ka naging anak ni Cristo, nagbigay ka ng 1 million. Huh? Kasi naawa ka, may 1 million ka, so binigay mo. Brothers and sisters, yes, may point yan. But in heaven, it might not be. But if you are in Christ and you gave everything, kahit 10 dirhams lang yan, ayan na yung everything mo. It has a point. You understand? So therefore, last week po, we talked about it. We talked about it. And we said that the qualification of all our good works is embedded in Christ Jesus. Kaya pag gumagawa ka ng mabuti at kristyano ka, kinuha mo lahat ng, ng uh, papuri at hindi kay Kristo, ninanakaw mo yung glory na para sa Kanya. Hello? Are you there with me? Amen. Yung mga umaawi po, those that are singing here, that are playing here, preaching, doing the works of the Lord, kung ikaw na ang nakikita mo sa sarili mo, ang galing-galing ko, pag hindi nila ako sinunod, ayoko na. You are taking the glory that belongs to God and to you. And that's fine. Para po lang kita ngayon kahit sa church. Oh, ayaw nila sa akin. Ay, sila ako. Oh, tignan ko lang kung ano mangyari sa church. Hello? Ang tanong ko, tignan ko lang kung ano mangyari sa iyo. Kaya huwag po tayo magmalaki. Don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about church as us. But church that Jesus Christ died and gave His life to. Kaya nga po, brothers and sisters, lahat po tayo, we are subject to humility before the Lord. Wala pong magmamalaki sa atin. Huh, tignan ko lang kung hindi na ako pastor nyo. Salita ko kaya, sige, tignan ko lang kung ang pastor nyo, si Pastor Rano. Tignan natin, Pastor Ju. Tignan ko lang kung kasi galing kayo. No, we will not say that. In fact, the more that the Lord is bringing us up, the more we should humble ourselves and bring Him in. Do you understand the point? So righteous act are the acts of God's people and decisions done in obedience to Christ. Without Christ, we are not obeying Christ. It's not righteous. Kung ang asawa mo lang ang sinusunod mo at hindi si Kristo, hello? Eh, masunuri naman po ako. Hello? Di ba? Sabihin ang misis ko, sinusunod ko. And that is not of what Christ wants. It doesn't matter. Hello? So husbands or wives, kung may pinagagawa sa iyong asawa nila, hindi naman sa salita ng Diyos. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying revolt. But I'm saying challenge. Hello? When I say challenge, I'm not saying fight. I say, iba, pag challenge, suntukan natin. So, pag-tick na natin. Challenge mo, questioning mo, God. Kapatid. Ah? Oh, sweetheart. Yan ba ay para sa Lord ba? No, because in any relationship there is no other relationship that is higher than the relationship of you and the Lord. Amen. Kaya yung pastor nyo, kung may pinagagawa ng pastor nyo na labag sa batas ng salita ng Dios, or it violates the word of God, question your pastor. No, nare, so pinko sa inyo, and this, this is true. The court in the U.S. You know what they do? Okay, lahat ng mga, mga babae rito dapat makasawa ng pastor. Ay! Ganun po nangyayari. In the States. Are they following? Some of them are! Why? Because they are blinded. So challenge it! If your pastor is asking every money that you have, Brother, she said, give it all to me. Boho! <laughs> Mga call to sa Pilipinas, no? Ang dami may hirap, pero siya ang may eroplano. Hello? <laughs> Daig pa niya si Cristo. Si Cristo walang eroplano. Naglalakad. Paul, you know, in his journey, in his missionary journey, it took him, what, 35 years? And you know where he came? Uh, where he went? 
only to eight places. Hello? Pero ano yung mga pastors? Want more? Give me, give me all you have. Ang gaganda ng bahay. Ayun ko pinsa sabi, huwag po nga maganda ng bahay. Pero sometimes what? That's all. That is not what God said. So the righteous act. So what do I mean? There is a black and there's a white. This we don't debate, correct? Pag black and white, black and white. Pero merong gray. And this is where that righteous act is being measured. Yung time na ikaw ay gagawa ng desisyon for wherever that is not in between what God has already established. That's why no wonder the Pharisees and the Sadducees because they cannot understand the in-betweens. They thought that the in-betweens is subject to the law that they have done. They ask everybody to follow small things. Sama? Hello? Pag tumayo, dapat pag ganyan. Pag umupo, dapat pag ganito. Hello? Kasi po, gusto nila perfect. But they don't know that God has already given us that grace in Christ Jesus. And that's the beauty. I will tell you later on why, what that grace means. Marat, you know, sometimes when we understand grace, we think that everything is already okay. Brothers and sisters, now I want you to understand. I want you to understand from my heart that grace, just like what we have read, it is not everything, but it is subject to. Huh? Eh, kaya nga grace, lahat hindi subject to. It is subject to. Let's go now to what we call spiritual preference, ang tawag natin gray areas, and what we call spiritual principles, which is the black and white areas. Ang sabi po natin, there are debates regarding gray areas that cause major rifts. Ang mga kakaibigan, po, ang mga magkakaibigan, tama? Major rifts between individuals and communities and churches. Why? Because this is the blurred understanding of what we call spiritual preferences and spiritual principle. Today, we will talk about that. So later on, when we start preaching the exact issues, you will know which one we call spiritual preference and what we call spiritual principles. The spiritual principle are the things that you cannot change. Preference, God has given you the knowledge through the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, the counsel of the Holy, of the Holy Ghost, the counsel of the Holy People, and our action. You understand? Let's start first with 1 Corinthians. This is what we have learned. It says that everything is permitted, but everything is not beneficial. Everything is permitted, but everything does not build others up. No one should look out of their own advantage, but they should look out for each other. Let's take out the first word. The first word is permitted. Hello? Are you there with me? Now, the word permitted comes from the word epitrepo. Epitrepo. Epitrepo is a Greek word, okay, that means legally permitted. Huh? Marami pong Kristiyano, they use this scripture to say, oh, kita mo, everything okay, di okay na. Hello? But the word permitted, or in the King James Version, it says, lawful. Hello? In the King James Version, it says, lawful. So when you look at this word, it makes sense. Epitrepo means legally permitted, allowable within the limits of the law. So in short, parang sinabi ng misis mo, pwede kang umuwi ng gabi. Ha? Hanggang 8 lang. Pwede kang umuwi ng gabi hanggang 8 lang. So in between ng galang doon hanggang 8, nasa sa'yo kung saan ka pupunta. Hello? Kasi hindi niya sinabi, wag lang pupunta ka ng A, B, C, D. Hello? Nakatuwa niyo ibig sabihin. Parang sa opisina po. How, ba, how, how much you have as working hours? Eight hours. Your, your contract says you work from what? Eight to? Eight to four or nine to five. Tama po ba? Yung iba po. So in between that, they then tell you that 
8 to 9, you should stand. 9 to 10, you should sit. 11 to 12, you should sleep. 12 to 1, you should stand again. Correct? So, they have given you the fullness of your contract. The details is depending on how you perform it. That is the principle of epetrico. So, when the Word of God says everything is permitted, hindi po yan free for all. God, permit na pala lahat eh. Yung permit na po yan, subject po yan for the bounds of the legality. And what is this legality? Freedom is bordered in righteousness. Christian, ang ating pong kalayaan kay Kristo ay dapat nasa kanyang katuwiran. Hello? Lahat ang kausap. Because that is the only way He will permit. Everything is permissible. That's what Paul said to the church of Corinth. They have issues there. They have issues of eating. Ano, kakain ba tayo? Hindi tayo kakain. Kakain ba tayo ng baboy o hindi? Hindi, chung ba yan? Kakain tayo. Away sila. So Paul said, everything is permitted. So, But the word permitted doesn't mean you can do anything. It means you have to be bordered in the righteousness. And the word of God says in Galatians chapter 5 verse 1, it says there, For it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves to be burdened again a yoke of slavery. There are two yokes. The yoke of slavery and the yoke of the freedom in Christ. So brothers and sisters, dalawa lang po ang choice mo. Either nasa slavery ka or sin, or you move to the next one and in be in Christ Jesus. Dalawa lang po yan. So kung gagalaw ka kapatid in freedom, you know, when you are in sin, you are also free. Amen? Agree? Wala yata kong... Agree, di ba? Kung gusto mong magkasala, maraming ways. Let me sin and let me count the ways. So therefore, you're from one foot here, you have to move to the next foot. And that is from the freedom that comes from Jesus Christ. So yung freedom po natin, brothers and sisters, is limited to Christ. Hello? Kung lumabas ka na yung freedom mo outside Christ, you are not exercising that freedom. You are going back to the yoke of slavery. Do you understand the point? So kung gusto mo pa lang maging free, pwede kang gumalaw, pero dapat nasa loob ni Kristo. Yun po ang gusto sabihin ni, po, ni Pablo sa 1 Corinthians. Everything is permitted in Christ! You can eat anything! Hello? Wow! Huwag lang yung nakaw! Huh? Because outside na yun, stealing na yun. Do you understand the point? Kahit ano pwede mo kainin, basta magandang pinanggalingan. Hello? Kung panis na sa sa'yo pa rin yung kasawag mo lang nakawin. <laughs> Correct? If it's a spoiled food, it's up to you. If you want to eat it. But as long as that food is not outside the bounds of the grace and the righteousness of God. No. <clears throat> Wala pong masama magtrabaho. Brother and Jude and I are talking. I know a lot of Christians. <laughs> he, was, he was talking about the pastor. No? After that, they go to the club. And they, they, they play. Mga musicians sila. How can you be a pastor and then a musician in the club where everybody's drinking? And then you're pastor the next day. And then now, you know, musician. Now, I don't judge that person. <clears throat> Maybe one day that person has to make a decision whether you are in the yoke of slavery or in the freedom of Christ. In any case, you have to do it. The same with you. Hello? Are you there with me? The same with you. If you think that your, your work right now is leading you to sin, huh? it's leading you to sin. Brother and sister, you have to make a decision one day. Should I continue sinning or should I just get out? That 
is what God is saying to us. The word permitted is not open-ended. It is bounded in the righteousness of Christ. Matthew chapter 12, verse 30. Look at what Jesus Christ said. Very clear. Whoever is not with me is against me. And whoever does not gather with me scatters. So Jesus Christ is simply saying, if you are with me, you are free. Wow, I like that. We will talk about freedom in Christ a little bit later. But brothers and sisters, I want you to understand, when the word permitted is said in the scripture, it doesn't mean that you can do anything. It has to be bound in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Okay? Are you there? Hello? And this is what it's all about. With Jesus, that border is the righteousness of God. It is black and white. But there are things that are gray. And that is what we will talk about. We will talk about the beneficial part. So yung, yung pong permitted, dapat doon lang sa black and white ni Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ says no, or God says no, 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 no. Hello? Baon makiapit? Yes, no, no, no yan. Eh, paano kung paano kung paano? Marami tayong ganun eh. Eh, paano kasi? Kasi ganito. Bawal po. Thou shall not covet your neighbor's good. Ano ba yung covet? Hindi ba yung coverta? No, covet. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, huwag mong hangarin yung hila sa iba na. Oh, hindi na po as how, ha? <laughs> Kahit po yung kanilang mga iba sa atin, isa pag minakita sa ibang bahay, hiram hindi na ibabalik. Ano? <laughs> diba? Ang tapo dyan, covetousness. Hello? Panibang pa sa COVID to Nes, di ba? Hello? Ilan po sa inyong ganon? May nakita maganda. Uy, ang ganda ng tape mo. Ang ganda ng CD na yan. Ah. That CD is so nice. Can I borrow it? Ah. Eh, Siyempre, brothers and sisters, Christian siya. It's really better to lend. Tama? So, sige, hiramin mo. And then, what do you do with the CD? Nagustuhan mo na. Uy, I like this. Ah, nabibless ako. Hello? Kaya ito ang kausap eh. Ganun ba? Nabibless naman ako. Pero ng t-shirt mo, ganda niya na. Bagay na bagay sa akin niya. Ngayon lang. Then you let it, you borrow it. And then what do you do? The next day, I'll keep it kasi bagay sa akin. Ano kaya? Huwag ko nila ipalik ito. Diba? Do you know, tatanungin ka na isang kapatid. Brother, do you remember the shirt? What shirt? That's covetousness. Brother, sister, it doesn't matter if it's a CD. It doesn't matter if it's a pen. It doesn't matter if it's a picture. It doesn't matter what it is. But once you take something that is not given to you, it is covetousness. Huwag mo nang hangarin. Ang ganda ng ilong niya ngayon. Hindi mo naman pwedeng haramin yung ilong, ano? So hindi ka ngayon makatulog? No. Sana ang ilong ko kasi ang ganda ng ilong niya. Kaya mas maganda pa. Don't be like that. Brothers and sisters, are you getting my point? Amen. Yung permission or permissiveness po ng Diyos nasa bound ni Jesus Christ. Yung, yung gray area, ha? that is where now that grace comes in. God. Yung kung hindi sa salita ng Diyos, walang grasya doon. Hello? Matay ka, ay, walang grasya. Pero kung ikaw ay nagsisi, babalik ang kanila, walang problema. Pero yung namumuhay po sa bituin na yan, which is tayo po yan, yun po yung grasya ng Panginoon. Yung word po na beneficial, the word beneficial is also equivalent to the word building up, which is already said there. But everything does not build others up. So ang bound po ng gray area is what? is John chapter 13, 33, verse 34. Yung pong black and white, are you here with me? Amen. Yung black and white po maliwanag in bound of the righteousness of Christ. Eh, paano naman yung gray? Ano ang boundary ng gray? Ang boundary po ng gray, that's a word na beneficial, which is the word building up. In the word of God, it says there in John chapter 13, 33 to 34, a new command! I give you. Hello? Ito po yung boundary ng gray area, ha? The new, a new command I give you, love 
one another as I love you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. So kung may gray area, hindi pa po natin pinag-uusapan exactly yung mga gray area. Kung may gray area, if there is any gray area in our faith, the boundary is what? Is love for one another. Yan, yeah, tama na kami sa akin. Mahaba po yung gray area eh. Ang mag maglalagay po lang ay yung love natin sa isa't isa. Because he said, no one should look up or for their own advantage, but they should look up for each other. So kung may mga bagay, kanyari, kumain ka ng baboy, yung kapatid mo hindi makakain kasi may heart, ano, nataas yung kolesterol, at na-open siya, panay mo yamo, ikaw naman, Sarap! Baboy! Yung kapatid mo naman, hindi ako makakain ng baboy. Huwag ka lang kumain! Bakit? Love! Hindi dahil sa gaawin pa, pa-theological ba yan? Do you understand my point? Are you there with me? Wala yan ang pausap. Kanyari yung kapatid mo, hindi kumakain ng cake dahil diabetic. Ang panang iyaya mo sa Krispy Kreme. Hello? Halika, Krispy Kreme tayo! Eh, huwag mo lang kapatid. Bakit? Hindi okay lang yan, walang problema yan ka na. Brothers and sisters, that is that grace. Kakakain ka ba o hindi? Hello? Pwede kang kumain, pwede kang kumain, hindi. Pero ang boundary mo, mahal mo kasi yung kapatid. Amen? Ilan po sa ating pinsa, walang pakailang. Nagihinagpis na yung kapatid nga, dayan na dayan na. Panay ang yayaan mo naman kung saan saan kainan. Hello? Mahawa naman po kayo sa mga nagda-diet. Hello? Lahat ang kausap eh. Alam mo, I have a friend who told me once, sabi niya, you know, bro, ano, sabi niya sa akin, you know, brother Rico, sabi niya sa akin, you know, the problem of um, a person who is dieting is not what we look after what we eat, it's what we look of the other people's eating. Hello? Ang problema raw, hindi tinitignan niya kung ano kinakain niya. Kung ano yung kinakain ng iba. Yun ang problema. Kaya kung kami po ilang dadayot, huwag niyo na kami hiyain. Hello? Makisama kayo. Are you there with me? Okay? So, yun po yung bound natin. A new command I give you, love one another as I love you. In anything that is great, let the love of God first to one another. Kung nao-offend yung kapatid, dahil kung magsuot ka ng damit, para naman hulog na hulog na. Hello? Eh, yung kapatid mo, di mga kotsit. Are you there with me? Di ba? Kung magsuot ka, kanyari, girl ka, kung magsuot ka talaga, talaga naman, yung brother naman, di mga kotsit yun. Mamo ka naman. Hindi naman masama mag... Masama mag pastor, magsuot ng sexy. Eh, sexy talaga ako. Hello? Do you understand the point what I'm trying to drive at? We will talk about clothing the next few weeks. Wala naman masama, correct? Ay, darin eh. Pero kung hindi na makapag-concentrate si Brother Ren. Eh, maglagay ka na ng kumot. Ano? Maawa ka naman at hindi makapag-concentrate tuwing itatas ang kamay sa inang atingin. Hallelujah! Do you understand? Are you there with me? If there is any gray area in our faith, the our boundary is loving one another. That's what the Word of God says. You should look, no one should look out for their own advantage, but they should look out for each other. So yung mga kabuti muna sa kapwa, yun ang una, yun ang gusto ng Diyos. Sa pagkat yan ang sinabi niya, ang new command I give you, love one another. Isn't it wonderful? Didisco ako. Bakit masama ba magdisco? Aawain mo ba yung kasama mo? Masama ba? Aawain ko yun, naawain ko. Masama, didisco pa rin ako. Kapatid, kumahal mo siya at na-offend siya. Sige na, huwag na lang. Libre na lang kita sa 
crispy cream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not my point. We will talk about this, drinking, we will talk about drinking men. Okay? Kasi may ibang church, sabi, bawal ang drinking. Yung iba, semi-drinking. Yung iba, occasional drinking. Yung iba, iba-ibang drinking. <laughs> Ididefine pa nila what kind of drink. Alcoholic, non-alcoholic, full of alcohol. Ang hirap. Kaya ako hindi na lang iinom. Understand? But we will talk about that. These are the great things. Look at what God says. One of the teachers of the law came and, ha and heard them debating. They're debating now. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, of all the commands, which is the most important, then the most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Ye hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. And the second is, love your neighbor as yourself. Tama na, pastor, that is not one. That's a lot. Jesus Christ did not answer one. The question was, of all the commandments, which is the most important? So this guy is trying to say one. But Jesus answered not one. In our version, it's not one. Sabi niya, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, and love your neighbors as yourself. What is happening here? But look at this. There is no commandment greater than this. This is plural. What's happening here? Now, we can argue that the best is either one or two because of all these things, but you have to understand how <coughs> Jews answer questions. This is what they call qualified answer. <clears throat> qualified answer. When you have a qualified answer, you stick to the essence of the answer, but not on the specific. Hello? Katulad ng misis mo. Mahal mo ba ako? Ilan na po sa itinanong ng misis mo o ng mister mo? Mahal mo ba ako? Do you love me? What do you answer? Yes. <laughs> of course. If you want to stick with your husband or wife, you'll say, Yes, I love you. Kalas. When you say, Ano klaseng tanong yan? Pinagluluto kita. Pinagluluto kita. Kinaganito kita. Tapos tatanong mo, If I love you. The word, the question is qualification of the commandment. And Jesus qualified the commandment about the love that is of God and it's of man. That is the qualification. Do you understand the point? So you cannot take this out. You cannot love others if you don't love God first. Because that is the essence of the whole thing. If I love you, I should love God. But it doesn't necessarily mean that if I love you, I love God. Dapat una si Lord. Marami sa inyong in love. Tama? Hello? Maraming bigo sa love. Maraming love. Pero si Lord hindi love. Kaya nagbubola ka eh. Nagahanap ng love. Let me explain to you something before I go on. If you love God, if you love God, lalo yung mga naghahanap ng pagmamahal, yun po sa naghahanap, huwag na utas ang kamay. Alam ko, we are all looking for love. But if you love God, believe me, the real love for other men is very, very narrow na. Hindi ka matatakot. Bakit? Kasi mahal mo siya kahit wala na yan eh. Pero may pagpadala si Lord. Amen. Hello? Are you there? May nag-i-aimin doon sa likod eh. Hello? Are you there? Behave, behave, behave. If you love God, then God will give you that others that is not difficult to love. And you can love that be person because you love God. So brother and sister, this is a qualification. This is what this is all about. Jesus, black and white, grace, gray, loving one another. That is what it's all about. It cannot be separated. Because if you separate that, then Jesus said, I did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. That is the fulfillment. All black, white, gray. Hello? Black, white, and gray. This is 
what God wants us to do, brothers and sisters. He wants us to understand that there is no commandment greater than this, but that whole thing. Don't take one out. How can you love God without loving others? Spiritual preference versus spiritual preference. Are you there? Introduction pa lang yun. Hello? Two months tayo, di ba? Two months? Ano pa gusto lang buwe? A spiritual principle is a, is a teaching specifically found in the scripture. Example po. Sa 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3 and 5, it says there, it is God will that you should be what? If it's the will of God, you should be sanctified. That you should what? Avoid sexual immorality. I underline that word. Then look at this. That each of you should learn to control his own body in a way that is holy and honorable, not in passionate lust like the heathen who do not know. Now, after reading this, brothers and sisters, we see that sexual immorality is not a gray area. And what is sexual immorality? Fornication. Ibig sabihin, multiple partners. Premarital sex. Hello? Bestiality. Oh, tawa kayo. You know, bestiality. Mukha kang nasi. Asama ko, parang talang hayop. Hayop sa gating. Bestiality. You know, when I say bestiality, it means having sexual relate or intercourse with animals. Huh? That is in the scripture. That is a no-no. Oh, yuck! Yuck! And homosexuality. Sorry to say. Men to men, women to women. That is in the scripture. That's why, brothers and sisters, I beg you, as much as I ask you not to fornicate, not to have premarital sex, don't have homosexuality relationship. Not because of what I want, but it's because of that. So brothers and sisters, this is the boundary that I'm saying to you. I have friends who are, let's use the word gay. I'm not angry with them. I don't mind how they, they dress. I don't mind sometimes this, they talk softly, with queen, with one. <laughs> but equally, if you are a straight, quote unquote, person, but you are doing either fornication, you're either doing this, homosexual, or whatever it is, you are in the same boat. Amen. You understand? Are you there with me? Amen. I don't care how you dress. Personally. You know, the other day, I was in the office, I left my bag on top of my table, and my the CEO went down, because he has to meet me. I mean, Rico, I meet you at 10.30. Unfortunately, I have to go out, because I have to meet a, 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 a client. So he was there sitting in my office. So I left my bag. I think my bag is there. You blue? I left my bag there. Yes, it is. It is there. So when I back, sabi sa akin ng ng aming CEO, can I borrow the bag? The CEO told me, who was in your room? <laughs> You're laughing. My CEO said, who was in your room? Because this was on top of my... <laughs> Brothers and sisters, my question to you. Does this make me sinner? Because you think that this is a handbag made for women? By the way, katulad namin mga ano, we are fashionistas. Yes! <laughs> Do you get my point? Yes, That's Just because I'm wearing this doesn't mean that I love men. <laughs> Do you understand my point? Hello? Ipa pare? Pakis nga. Are you there with me? 
Do you get the point? So what I'm trying to say, brothers and sisters, it says that sexual immorality is not gray. It is black and white. The red one, uh, the control your own body, is the gray one. How do you control? If you think by holding hands, <laughs> if by holding hands, it triggers sexual desire, do not hold hands with your partner. You get my point? That is what controls whole body. That is the black and white and the gray application. By kissing! <laughs> and it triggers you. Hindi mo naman siya asawa. Kahit na, kahit na sa at brothers and sisters, sometimes di ba tayo nagbibesa-besa, no, kisi-kisi, pero pag may kinikiss ka ng, ng isang kapatid na napakalala, <laughs> forget it! Do you understand my point? There's nothing wrong in that greetings, in that kissing. Amen? Hello? Are you there with me? We will talk about this, by the way. We are not even talking about the details. I will talk to you about the details. The only way for you to know the gray area is if you know the Word of God. I don't mind hugging, kissing you, brothers or sisters. It doesn't matter. Pero pag, uy, kinikilig na ganyan, pag, huwag na lang. Kaya, pastor, pastor, ha, pag nakikita tayo, di ba, kinikiss na. Hello, baka naman ayaw mo talaga. Do you understand my point? <laughs> kung may boyfriend ka at tuwing nagkahawakan kayo kung saan sa akin napupunta kung mahawak kung saan sa napupunta yung mga kamay ngayon huwag na kayo magkawakan Hindi masama maghawakan ha? Tama? Hindi yung masama Huwag may magkawakan tayo ulit <laughs> You know when we see patans outside Amen? Right? You know? How, 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 what do you do? You judge them, right? Kung wala naman, hindi naman sila to turn on. Di ba? Oh, understand? Gray area. You get my point? Pero minsan nag-aaway tayo tungkol dyan. Kahit sa church nag-aaway tayo. After reading this, we see that sexual immorality is not the gray area. There is no ambiguity and therefore no room for freedom. Okay? It is clearly wrong to view pornography, fornication, etc. With spiritual principles, we are called to speak the truth. So kung nakikita mo na, kahit mahal na mahal mo yung kapatid na yan, at siya ay may homosexual relationship. Kasi bawal na sa salita ng Panginoon. Ikaw rin, bawal ka rin maghanap ng iba na hindi mo asawa kung wala ka pa asawa. Pareho kayo. So, wala pong masama kung magkaroon ng mga kaibigan. Do you understand my point? It is for us to call, the, we are called to speak the truth, bear humility and love as we appropriately correct a brother or a sister who is acting against the principle clearly taught in the scripture. So, dapat natin i-correct. Eh, baka ma-offend. Pero huwag nalawang boyfriend, tatlo-tatlo, nagabi. Kaibigan mo. Kaibigan mo. Love na love mo. Kaibigan mo. Eh, nung ako'y namutang siya, muna nagbigay. Kapatid, what did Paul say? Don't let any one of you want or oh, anything to anybody except the love of God. Kahit pinahiram kita ng milyon, kung ako'y nagpapasala, i-review mo ako. Sapagkat my life after one million is more than that. Huwag pa kayo magpabandage sa mga utang na loob, especially kung ang utang na loob ay mga finances. Porque pinahiram ka, hindi mo ma-review. Hello? Are you there with me? Hindi ako pala mga kristyano. No? That is the righteous act in heaven. In our wedding invitation, that's what is happened. What did you do to your brother? Okay? So, ano yung una natin? The first one is spiritual principle. What is black is black. What is white is white. The second one, spiritual preference. It is the believer's decision. Correct? It is the spiritual preference. It is the believer's decision to do or not